just about sailing, second one in June. I wanted to get this one out because I want the next video to be really project focused and that will come out in July. Um, and that's probably going to be to do with the, uh, the holding tank. It's certainly going to be epoxy related because I really want to do that. So bits and pieces to prepare the boat so I can really get cracking on with her. So let's have a look, see how this goes then. Right, so there is a bit, a bit of work I have to do to do some final sort of preparations and so on before she's ready to start on. Um, one of the things is I've adjusted the props a little bit. I've had to put some blocks of wood in some um, and, and sort of twisted them around on the others to make sure they line up with the hull nicely. I also um, need to put the extra strips of wood in here and I've got some of that to actually uh, finish off. I then, oh the other thing I've done is I've put an extra piece of wood um, underneath here, a couple of pieces of wood uh, here because I, I hadn't realised I'd actually put this slightly behind where the main structural bit of the the, the cradle is no big deal and it's all plenty strong enough. So I've got her now so she's leaning slightly forward so that should drain out things in the scuppers quite nicely. So she is line, leaning slightly to one side but to be quite honest there's almost nothing in it at all and the next thing I need to do is although I did clear her out I left stuff in the cockpit lockers and also all the in, internal lockers so I need to clear that out and start with a completely empty boat. So the first thing to do is to get the wood sorted out and um, finish off the cradle completely. Oh and then I guess a big job is the mast is still attached to the top of the boat. So I need to get the mast off. I've got a place to store that inside actually which will be interesting so I have a nice dry mast. And yeah and then carry on from here. So let's get the boat, let's get this wood sorted out. Let's get the boat cleared out. is near enough. Right, <clears throat> now see if the um, second bit that I've cut fits. So that'll be a woodworking mirror if I get two pieces to fit in a row. Yeah, not such a good fit but that's still not bad. I think I need to. Oh I need to trim a bit off. The 45 minute alarm going off. This is my energy conservation thing that I was talking about. So I'm not allowed to do any more than 45 minutes at a time. And unfortunately today, uh, because it's going to be stormy later, that's it. That's all the work for the boat. But at least that was 45 minutes well spent. So, right, time to pack up now. Right, so I, I emptied everything out of the boat, except for the lockers before I got them moved. Um, and I, as you know, I'm on an energy saving regime. So there's two ways I can do this to clear everything else up. I can either climb up this ladder and go and get everything, or by coincidence, my very, very brave daughter who's been shark counting in the Sea of Cortez is now back. So she can just pop up here with no problem at all and do that. Um, she's not here right now. So um, here's a picture of her from quite a few years ago when she was being very, very brave on the back of my Ducati. Um, even though it's not moving and oh by the way Patrick Ducati that's the vehicle you really need in the Isle of Man isn't it no nobody's been mean to you because you're helping I just want people to know how you climb the ladder <laughs> filming her climbing the ladder because she's rubbish what's that on the back of your t-shirt Lucy is it a great white shark you scared of them no <laughs> So 
So you got the hang of it now? Yeah, literally. <laughs> Scientist at work. That is a bit of metal. Oh, okay. Well, I stopped doing physics after GCSE, so actually, and I'm not very good at oceanography, <laughs> so I should be quite proud of myself. Stop listing, listing your deficits whilst you're on camera. I'm about to have a master's in marine biology. I, I have scuba diving qualifications. Actually, I'm going to come back Anyone and wants to give me a job? <laughs> it's not very likely from my videos. <laughs> and how many sharks did you count in Mexico? Several hundred. Really? Yeah. Oh, not okay. very good. That's more than I've ever counted. Well, you probably weren't looking. No problem. You mean they're there and we just don't know it? Yeah. So, when is an empty boat not an empty boat? Well, this is all the stuff that Lucy has just taken off the boat. And I had supposedly emptied it before she got lifted. At least this is just the stuff that was in the lockers. So, how people actually manage to do work on their boats whilst they're living on them, I do not know. Because that's a lot of stuff. And I've got a lot more stuff. Oh well, it's empty now. It really is empty now. So, yes, this is the rest of it. <laughs> um, that is completely, that's quite, that's about three foot deep in, in ropes and so on. So, yeah, it's astonishing what you can get. The bike wasn't on it. In a small, oh, there's the famous rudder. Nice to put that back on. Um, and all the sails and things. So, She's probably going to float. If I put her in the water now, she'd probably, she'd probably fly, actually. Let them float about a foot higher in the water. So, yeah, lots and lots of stuff. Lots and lots of half-finished projects. Lots of epoxy there. Lots of fiberglass there. So let's um, finish off getting this boat prepared and then get on with it. Right, I've decided to post this video short and early because I want to get it out in... Um, June and I'm off overseas. It's Lucy's graduation coming up shortly. I might, if I remember to take the camera, I might actually take a few pictures of that somewhere nice and exotic, which is supposed to be quite hot. Um, so basically the boat's prepped. I've got a little bit left to do. That, that wood that I put underneath it, I've ordered some of this stuff, if I can find a picture up here from Germany, which is supposed to weatherproof it and, and harden it a little bit more. So, um, so far I think this 45 minute schedule thing is working quite well. I was hoping that I could do three a day. It looks like it's probably two, but over the course of a week that's still a lot more than I was doing. But, just to show you what, one of the reasons why I moved here, I've not done this before. Let's count the number of steps between here and my boat, just to see um, if it is actually worthwhile. So, um, let me try not to... And although I'm wearing shorts and things, it has actually just started raining. Right. So straight out the back door, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Serenity. Ninety-nine steps away. Fabulous. There you go. Good grief. <laughs> so yeah, 99 steps away. That's really not too bad. So I've, as I said, I've got this stuff screwed down. Um, just need to hoover out, do a bit of cleaning up. And I think the holding tank is what's going to happen next because that needs a lot of epoxy work and I miss doing epoxy work. So uh, I might start with the through holes and um, see you in July. Thanks very much for watching.